within the 12 disciples, he had 11 that were really for him, and he had one whose spirit was never connected to Christ. Okay? Within that, he had three more divisions. Within the 12, he had three divisions. There's someone who's always mentioned first, and there's someone who's always mentioned last. The person who's always mentioned last is Amen. Amen. Y'all can get it. Y'all keep calling them names. Y'all can say Jews. Jews. Jews is always mentioned last. The person who's always mentioned first was Peter. Okay. And so in that first group, there was Peter, James, and John. Y'all look at this when we get time. So I want to ask you, who was in that second group? Numbers four, five, six. Who was in that, that, that second division, if you will, uh, 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 of the disciples? Or really, uh, I'm sorry, uh, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's four, four, four. Y'all with me? All right, but it's three groups of four, four, four. The first group had two sets of brothers. And who? Well, y'all say Peter was in there, so who's Peter's brother? Start with Abel. Andrew. So the first group has two sets of brothers. So I want to know, when you get past that first group, Who's the first person mentioned in that second group? I don't know, I want to know next week. I want y'all to tell me that next week. And then when you get in that third group, who's the first person mentioned in that third group? Y'all think y'all can work on that next week? And so, so there's different groups of disciples. Now, I want to apply that to the church. There's really five levels of church. The first level is the world. And those are those individuals who are the people of God, they just don't know them. God loves them so much. And that's a many old sea of people. But really the church is in there. That's where we get the church from. That's where we grow the church from. People who don't know God. So that's the world. Then, then the next group that comes, I call them uh, people who are seeking cosmos, a little bit of peace. But those are people that just kind of come visit the church. They just kind of come hang around with the people of God, but they don't accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. So that's the second level of growth. At least they're not over here in the world anymore. They're moving forward. Then the third group is the congregation. That's when they say, you know what? I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I'm telling you about those groups of disciples. There's different levels to be in. And so then they say, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I'm going to join this church. Whatever the name of this church is, I'm going to join this church. So that's the third group. But don't stop that. Many people stop at that third group. And the church cannot sustain by that third group. And then there is the fourth group when people become committed. Not simply to the church, but committed to Jesus Christ. They come deeply committed to Jesus Christ. And no matter where you see them, everybody know they're Christian. Oh, that's a man of God there. Oh, that's a woman of God there. Who are you? I'm a man of God. Who are you? I'm a woman of God. They are committed in Christ to become a part of their identity. And they are committed and shows up at the church house. And then that deepest level. And these are the people who provide for the church, fund the church, clean up the church. These people do everything. And that's called the poor. And so that core of Jesus wasn't four people. It was three. Peter, James, and John. That inner core, those special three that saw some things that nobody else saw. And that's that core. So anyway, I hope I bless you a little bit. I hope I helped you a little bit. And I know I gave you a lot of information, maybe too much information for somebody to get. But it's going to pay off for you in the long run. Just stay with it. Keep coming to study. 